everybody. Coconut is the official flavor of the tropics, as we all know. And here in the kitchen to make us a luscious coconut pudding with a Latin American twist is Chef Margarita Callis Lee. Welcome back. Thank you We're so, so much. Good it's good so happy to be here. It's always so much fun when you're here. Thank you. And we're Thank very you. excited about this sort of mashup dessert pudding situation. Me too. Cam's going to love it because yeah. as, as yummy and as decadent as it is, it's also healthy, Cam. Yeah. Well, That's true. Yes. I am all in. Paige and Shirley are ready to dig in too, so you guys mm -hmm. get into this. So this recipe is something that you sort of came up with on your own when you were traveling through Bali when you got married. Yeah, we got married, me and my husband, Philip, got married uh, seven years ago in Bali. It was so beautiful, super magical. And in Bali, everything inspired me, all the food, all the fresh, beautiful, um, <laughs> That's so all the cute. fresh, beautiful uh, fruits, all the coconut, everything is just so beautiful. Fresh and vibrant, and, and yeah, the and smells vibrant. And the so, fruit market. Mm. So it inspired this dish. So I wanted to combine coconut with mojito granita. Ooh, yes, because so cool. that is very refreshing and super summery and yeah. perfect for the summer. So you put two together and made a perfect marriage, just yes. like you and Philip. <laughs> so it starts with the coconut pudding, yeah. and coconut pudding starts with coconut milk. Coconut milk. You want it at room temperature or cold. I want to add everything in at once. Okay. Um, so we're gonna add the sugar the nutmeg. And this is before you even turn the heat on. Before you turn the heat on, because you don't want the cornstarch to clump. Mm. So this is the cornstarch right here. So we're gonna add that, a little bit of salt. What was the other one, cinnamon? Uh, a little bit of clove, clove. just for that depth. Oh, yes. Okay. A um, little bit of, yeah, cinnamon in there, and mm. vanilla, of course. Right. And can you say that was just regular coconut milk, or is it like from the jar, the canned one? The canned one, yeah, because okay. that one has um, more, Fat. fat in it, yeah, yeah. so it's nice Healthy. and luxurious. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're gonna stir it up, actually. And how long does this take to come together? Um, this actually, so once it starts to boil, when the starch starts to cook out, uh, you wanna take it off the heat and put it right into the fridge. Okay. So then it can set up. But you wanna continuously whisk it so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Right. Um, Cause you don't want that burning. Flavor. No. Yeah. Okay, so once that comes together, we pour it into a bowl like this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then you cover it. Yeah, you want to cover it because you don't want to get that weird little film on there. And, and then yeah. it's no good. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> and how long will we leave this in the refrigerator, Margarita? Um, so in the fridge, you want to leave it for a couple hours just so it cools down. Okay. And then, yeah, it sets up exactly like a pudding. And then you can pull that. Yeah. Ooh. And you could eat it like that. This is beautiful. Exactly. It's just berries or anything. It's so yummy. Yeah, and it's it's actually perfect. A lot of people have told me for the morning because <laughs> it tastes yeah. a little bit like a yogurt. Right. Mm -hmm. And I know you have some um, healthier even alternatives to the sugar and the cornstarch. Exactly. You can use arrowroot starch. You can use tapioca starch. Mm -hmm. So Debbie knows the questions I'm about to ask. They're about to come out of my mouth. Thank you. That's good to right. know. That's it's, great to yeah. know. Those and are both great. You could also substitute the sugar, Cameron. Yes. With? You can do coconut sugar, which is going to give it this nice toasty flavor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's low glycemic, so it's even better for you. Yeah. Um, I like finding these little no, that's, Those are great swap outs. Great. Yeah. Mm. Or agave. Or agave, yeah. yeah. But it's, that, that's a little gets a little too sweet, so you want to... Kind of gauge it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cut down on how much agave you're going to put in. So yeah. while we set this aside, we're going to actually Excellent. make our mojita granita now. Yeah. Which um, is delicious on its own as well. <laughs> um, so what I do, I use uh, the simple syrup, if you want to start sure. putting that in there. Okay. Um, so we're oh, going to pour here? it okay. into Forgot. here. Yep. Yeah, this Vitamix. And then a little okay. bit of water. Right. To thin it out. Then lime juice. All right. Yum. Nice. Lemon. And now, is this a traditional mojito mm -hmm. sort of um, mix? Um, you know, I think it's a traditional margarita. Oh, is it? <laughs> my, my, yeah. oh. my mix. Um, but a little bit of cayenne in there, too, just mm. for a little kick. Mm -hmm. Why not? Uh, why not? Um, and then all this mint. So you want... All to, of that? Yeah. Wow. So it's going to be nice and mm. bright. And, and you don't green. put any ice in the granita? Uh, no ice. Because no we're going to freeze it later. Yeah. But in my mind, I thought, oh, you're supposed to also put ice in it and then blend it with it. <laughs> There's something so special about fresh mint. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, it's and it just... just I, got, I get it in here, and I, I mean, it's just... Wow. Yeah, so it's so good. Awesome. Now I know this is an important part. You don't want to over pulse, right? Yeah, you don't want to over pulse, but you want to turn it up. Let's see. Let's start low. So you're going to turn it on, and then. And. Yep, 
that's it. Because <laughs> you want to release that beautiful green color. Wow. Yeah. But you, you don't you, want it to turn brown. You don't want it to turn brown, because that's not good. Because when you start bruising yeah. the, all of the beautiful mint, it'll turn brown. So yeah. Oh, so if you over, over uh, blend it, oh, it goes it's brown? Gonna, yeah. 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 yeah it's, oh, wow. Amazing. So now we, we strain this to get all the, all the little pieces out, but you probably didn't, wouldn't have to. Would you, you wouldn't have to. I mean, it just depends your preference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I kind of like this, uh, this recipe as a guideline. Oh, and give me, you, give me this. Uh, and I want to kind of, you know, give you the option. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> You're an awesome sous chef. Thank you very much, Margarita. If you need any help at the restaurants, <laughs> let me know. I'm available from midnight to 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> so then we put this in the freezer. In the freezer, and every oh, here, yeah, every um, couple hours or an hour or so, you want to scrape it so you don't want the juice to fall to the bottom. That way, you can get like a nice and gorgeous green oh my color. Gosh. Oh, wow. gorgeous. Yeah. I see a lot what's of going textile. on there. That's and I suppose amazing. if you wanted to, you could make this an, uh, a real mojito and maybe put some rum in there. You can. And that's going to be yummy, too. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to turn up the party. <laughs> it won't freeze, will it? Uh, it's going to, it's a little difficult because it's, um, it freezes at negative 21 degrees. Oh. So most freezers don't freeze to that point. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, oh, so yeah. you're just scraping it now to make that. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and fluffy. As you're doing that and you put it together, I also want to mention we talked about uh, Philip a little bit. You guys have been very busy. You opened three restaurants this year. Yes, we've been just a little bit busy. <laughs> um, it's been an awesome year. We've, we're so grateful for you know everything we've been doing. We opened three restaurants at the Montecito Inn in, in Montecito. Oh, nice. Ah, Thank you. So cool. Yeah, we've been having a really good time, and we love Santa Barbara. It's such an awesome community. Um, over there, we have uh, the Monarch, um, Silver Bow, Sushi Bar, and um, over here in Encino, we have Scratch Bar and Sushi Bar. Ooh, well, I was just you guys are French. very, very oh, busy. Nice. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Thank you. And you're serving with this brown sugar streusel you yes. also made. Now, I know this is actually on the menu at Scratch Bar. It is. And um, so the streusel, I made just with brown sugar, coconut oil, salt, a little bit of spices. I like that little depth of flavor. Um, and it's really nice that you can actually put it on your yogurt in the morning. Oh, and so yeah. You and Philip are a great team. Thank you. You really are an amazing <laughs> husband and wife duo that are, I mean, that are second to none in the culinary world. I'll tell you that. Thank you, you so You really much. are. And, oh, can we talk about the restaurant in Montecito Inn that only has eight seats? Yes. Very fancy. It is very what? fancy. <laughs> Do, can we call you and say, like, we're <laughs> in the neighborhood? <laughs> eight seats. So it's like, you know, if you're trying to impress your Do you do girl, takeout? You know, oh, I mean, yeah. like, yeah. I, Maybe, not so much. <laughs> it's Clearly about not. 20 Clearly courses, not. Um, it's Silver Bow. We use only the best ingredients in the world. I love yeah. that I asked if you could yes. do takeout. Yeah. There's 20 courses. That's Maybe. Like the type of thing I can you try. Do. Yeah. It's the type of thing I don't get do out much, gonna, very much margarita. When you're going to propose to someone. Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, like we, yeah. We, we're having fun over there. It's awesome. We Our teams are amazing, so... There we go. I appreciate the effort beautiful. you're putting in to build this, Deb. Wait until you taste thank it. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is delicious, yeah, as you can you. see. Everybody thank here loved it, too. Thank you for having me.